Hey, Brian here from Quantlab.net. All right, so today is Saturday, December 30th. So um, a very interesting little discussion I had online with somebody on the Facebook Messenger thing. Here's the discussion. We met some time in the distant past, and we're on LinkedIn. Anyways, I was learning about crypto trading bots on YouTube and came across your videos. I was excited to see you. You've been checking out CC, XT, and Gecko, which I'll address in a minute. I've been looking to experiment with arbitrage using automated software. I need to learn a lot about, to learn a lot about a lot. First, I want to pick a tool and start looking at data. Where are you at with these and which would you recommend? I don't know, either JavaScript or Python. So which would be fun to pick up? By the way, have you checked out Blackbird and Tribeca? Okay, so we're going to talk about all of these mentioned. Let's talk about the ones that I've already looked at and will recommend. So the first one is Gecko. Okay, um, this one I don't mind. Uh, I put up a video a month ago. It's got over four thousand views. Uh, I got this video. It's called "Experimenting with Gecko JavaScript Open Source Crypto Currency Trading Bot." Um, it's pretty good. It's in JavaScript. Uh, I'm going to adjust the languages in a little bit uh, on that. And there's a few other areas. So you can see here I have now a new playlist here called Bitcoin and Cryptocurrency. That's how committed I'm becoming on it. I also have a video here called What Do I Think a Cryptocurrency Bot Software DIY with Gecko Open Source Bot? So it's my little blab about that and then there is a video on here on CCXT that video is called impressive Python package for integrating over 90 cryptocurrency exchanges okay so let's go over to gecko and I'll give you my point of view on it uh, gecko github is probably the best way to search for it on the Google's so here we are. Now, this project I don't mind, but I want you to pay really close attention to something. It's very important. Look at the recent activity we have on this. So we've had uh, this person, uh, Alex Leventer, ask Mike, uh, who's hosting this project. Look at how recent these are. So we've got some activity 23 days ago, 20 days ago. This is a very still active project. That is so key when it comes to the APIs of these exchanges. Really important to remember that because once you see uh, these projects somewhat get older than in this world, I'd even say three months, that's a, not a good sign that that project may get uh, abandoned and will not keep up to date with the API changes among all the uh, cryptocurrency exchanges. So that is an important element to remember. Now, I do like Gecko. It's very easy to set up. The challenge I had with it from a programming standpoint is this in JavaScript. Um, real programmers don't really work with JavaScript. Uh, JavaScript is like um, pure pain to work with. It's a scripting uh, web language. You can do a lot with it, but you'd have to do 100 million times more work to get something done. And it, so this, this project is easy to set up, limited exchange support and whatnot. So if you're new, Go, fine, go ahead, play with it. Uh, I wouldn't choose this as my final destination in terms of uh, projects to work with to build a custom bot. So the next project that I'm excited about, and I think is the preferred one for me, is CCXT. I, I really like this. I've showcased this a, uh, a few times. I've mentioned it a few times. Now, uh, CCXT oops, is really cool, um, and I'm going to show you why. Uh, you can see here, what are the more popular languages? Definitely Python. Python, when you just do a standard uh, search. So you know Python is the standard language used for CCXT. So when you do the search of CCXT GitHub, you'll see that on Google. But when you come to GitHub, what you'll do is you'll find, again, the same thing. See how active it is. An hour ago, four days ago, a month, uh, nine days ago, this is a very active project. It's updated. 
So what are you getting with this? This is awesome. Works in Node 7.6, which is JavaScript. No complaints there. But the real um, kicker is Python 2 and 3 support. Also, there's support for PHP 5.3. And here's the other awesome part about it. They support up to, I believe, was it 90 plus uh, exchanges, right? Oh, here we go. 94 cryptocurrency uh, exchange markets and trading APIs. Here they are. They all include all the major ones you can imagine. That is an incredible achievement. On top of, you're able to um, be able to uh, have updated all this, which is a complete wrapper for your um, uh, exchange for, for, for all, all different types of examples. So this is the key behind it. I think this is the definite project I am going to use. It's a wrapper to all of these exchanges, all the major ones. Um, and not only that, but it keeps them up to date. So you just have to focus on your strategy and maybe your database. And that's it. This, all that complexity of the APIs are handled through the CCXT. Unbelievably awesome project. And I got to hand it to the creators of this and the contributors have done an amazing job on this. So that's the difference between Gecko and this one. Now, when you look at the examples, now remember, I have a complete video that walks you through this. I've highlighted it um, and press, so go onto my YouTube channel, Quant Labs, uh, and, and look for impressive Python package for integrating over 90 Bitcoin cryptocurrency exchanges, okay? These are the examples I show in Python right here. So here are so many examples on so many potential things that you can do with this thing. It's just absolutely amazing. Um, and uh, I, I would recommend you to check it out and probably go with this exchange, uh, or sorry, this project. This CCXT is unbelievable. So in this conversation here, there was some... Uh, questions about Tribeca and Blackbird. So let's check out these uh, repos. Now, I've got nothing to say or negative about this, but I, I want you to remember what I said earlier about the project and the late the updates. So you can see already it's hitting that three months ago, latest update. So the question becomes, is this being over time abandoned? Is there a lot of contribution to it? This is called a high-frequency market-making cryptocurrency trading platform in Node.js. So that's JavaScript. There's also um, TypeScript as well. Um, so I can't really say a lot about it. I'm not sure. I mean, if you want to do market-making, this may be useful. But once again, um, the thing I would be at this point concerned about are these updates on these uh, files, if it's regularly getting updated. So... Please remember that. Now, in terms of functionality, I've not played with it, so it's not fair for me to critique it. But looking at what I'm seeing, you do have limited number of exchanges. So compared to uh, CCXT, which has 90, most of them are probably not legit, but still it gives you that option. You can see why I'm all over CCXT versus, you know, uh, these kind of projects, which give you only like, look like, like looks like five. Same with the Gecko. Gecko only gives you a very small number of exchanges uh, to work with. Okay, so nothing against that. You always got to remember people put a lot of effort in these and you got to appreciate that they open source it. So you always got to be thankful for them on that. But we are comparing uh, different projects out there and the different types of um, uh, projects to move forward with. As, as I said, if you ask me, and the language, definitely Python, because that's probably the fastest growing language out there. It's very, very popular. So it was JavaScript. But Python will take you farther. You can do more with Python for trading systems overall versus just focusing on a JavaScript-only, uh, call it bot. Okay, so there's this project. So let's check out this other project, which is quite interesting. Um, so we have, it's called Blackbird. I think I might have taken a look at this at one point. Uh, and again, I can't say, but this is a C++ Bitcoin arbitrage long and short market neutral strategy. So again, a lot of work, but you can see here there has been some 
configuration, which looks okay, four days ago, 13 days ago, a month ago. So there is some activity nine days ago, uh, a month ago. So there may be some benefits of this, but again, you have how many exchanges? Uh, four, seven. So it's got a few of the major ones tested. Um, three of them are not, including Kraken, Exmo, and this Quad Quadraga CX. So um, again, that right there is probably it's limiting, but if you want to go through the source code, to understand how a strategy works, this may be useful for that. Um, but just, just try to remember um, this uh, limitation. Again, it's C++, which I kind of like. Um, so please do remember that. But if you ask me, Betman, this is exchange or project I'd go with CCXT for uh, uh, Python. Hopefully I'll help you out. Um, I'm hoping to get this underway in the next, I have no idea, a month or so. And uh, we'll see where we go. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.